YouTube, this is Charlie426, and today this is Gun Log number 46. Now last week, I was able to only do able two reviews, and I'm pretty sorry for that, but I must, then again, my original routine was two kits, and then I, I kind of got a little bit overdone with myself, and then started doing three kits. Uh, but however, uh, this week will be two again as well, because I'm getting tired these days, and my, it's getting cold. Uh, my body isn't at its full function ability, so sorry about that, but... Uh, I hope you guys don't mind. Now currently it's game win it's winter in Korea, it's game cold, and I, I figure out that uh, it's the best time to review a certain kit. And that kit was the High Grade Universal Sentry GM Cold Districts type. Now this is a pretty, uh, up to this point this is Gundam uh, High Grade Universal Sentry number 38. So before that my oldest kit was number 52 which was the Marasai that utilized the hand pegs to hold the weapons more stably. Uh, but this is number 38, so this is my oldest high-grade kit ever I I ever own now at this point. So the, uh, while building or checking the plates, there are some limitations or there are some stuff that will bug uh, modern builders these days. And so let's get to the point. I f just finished building the body and the head, and I'll be honest, uh, despite its age, I really enjoy building it. Of, of course, there are some stickers. Um, some stickers were kind of difficult for me to uh, acknowledge, so I had to color some parts. I will uh, actually cover that on my review. Now, this is not the only kit I bought today. Uh, before that, this kit is pretty interesting. This kit has been on my, uh, this has been like interesting me for a long time because not only it's like one of those old ones, but um, how should I say? It? It's the price. The price is even cheaper than the Barbados Lupus. Uh, this is even, yeah, uh, it's basically, it's like the same price as one of those old SD kits. Uh, so, I don't know why it's so, you know, cheap. Maybe it's because it's that old or it's just that simple. So, I'm, I'm going to find out. Now, uh, I have another announcement. But before that, uh, I bought two kits today. And one was the cold, GM Cold Districts type. The other one being the High Grade Dom Test Type from Gundam Origins. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys are surprised, like, oh my god, aren't you a Federation supporter? Yes, I am, but I have a pretty interesting story about this. And, I decided to make do a, I'm, I'm going to explain that story on tomorrow's live stream build for this kit. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a whole build this time, because this is definitely going to take longer than a high mock, and I'm not going to do it drunk this time, that's pretty sure. Uh, but once again, it's a pretty interesting uh, dream I had, and it's pretty freaky when you come to think of it, because this was a dream I had in 2014, which was before the announcement of Gundam Origins, and I somehow was able to predict or had this kit, this mobile suit image in my head at that point in my dream. So I'm going to explain that dream in more detail. I already posted on uh, on my main on my Gunpla Gundam page on Facebook, basically it's called Gunpla Builds Rise and Unite. I explained my dream, but it, it was it was lacking detail because I wasn't able to remember it entirely. But after a few days of thinking and remembering, I have now uh, remembered or memorized all the stuff in detail. So uh, I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow night, nine o'clock, or I mean, sorry, nine p.m. Uh, as usual, and then yeah, I will be building and taking in questions and you know, talking about my stories. <laughs> And sorry for about the sniffing, it's really cold right now, and my body isn't able to take it on pretty well. Yeah, uh, once again, uh, on J Japanese Gunpla Expo, they announced a ton of 2017 kits to come out. I am so excited, as usual. Still waiting, and even on this December, we're going to see a bunch of new kits as well. Now, this week, or technically this Saturday, is the release date of the Reborn 100 Bau. Now, I've been thinking about it. As much as I am interested in Reborns 100, or to be more specific, I want to try out Reborns 100, um, I, the bow was pretty interesting and tempting for me, but at the same time, my body or my instincts are telling me is to don't, because it's not really a kid that I, I actually want. Um, I, so yeah, that's why I decided to, not, to pass on the Reborns 100 bow because I'm basically going to wait for a Reborns 100, uh, mobile suit that actually, you know, you know, that I actually like or prefer. Well, okay, I'll be honest, the Bao is a Xeon kit, a Xeon mobile suit, so that is one reason, but 
Among that, I haven't found a really striking Reborns 100 kit that I am really that interested in, so sorry about that. So yeah, uh, basically I'll be finishing this, this kit today and then we'll try to make the review within this week as well because tomorrow I will have, I'm going to do the live stream so I'm not sure which one which uh, review will come out first. Anyway, so that's it for this Gundam vlog. So yeah, thank you for watching my videos. I uh, hope you enjoyed the series. If you like this video, um, like and subscribe to my channel. I still have more kits to buy and build so please stay tuned. Until then, see you guys next time! <laughs>